If I were to tell you to name a racing game, chances are this one would be your answer. Recognized for its great selection of cars, great soundtrack and that iconic piss filter, truly, no other racing game has done it like this one and I doubt any will dare to. I am of course talking about Need for Speed Most Wanted. The good one. When talking about Most Wanted, people often only focus on the gameplay. And gameplay is great, but I want to first put the spotlight on the story and the aesthetic of the game. The story is incredibly simple, and that's a good thing. This is a racing game, so you don't see the need to have an incredibly long and convoluted plot, especially since most of the people who play the game are there just to drive a cool car. But, at least for me, some kind of a story is still needed. Most Wanted does this amazingly. You're a street racer, who was most likely the best racer in whichever underground you raced at. Looking for a challenge, you move to Rockport and immediately start making some noise on the local scene. After having a couple of races to prove yourself, you catch the attention of Razor, who's ranked 15 on the blacklist. Blacklist is the list of 15 best racers in Rockport. Immediately from the get-go, it's clear that Razor doesn't like you constantly provoking you and putting you down. However, it seems there is one person there who acknowledges your skills. Mia defends you against Razor on multiple occasions, and is essentially your mouth since you're a mute protagonist. Razor only gets more agitated, and after you smoked his voice, gets a little worried that you might take his place on the blacklist. So, he challenges you to a race. You agree on a date, and one little detail that gets brought up is, in a blacklist race, loser must hand over the keys to his car. The deciding day comes. After more of Razor's provocations... First I'm gonna take your ride, then I'm gonna take your girl. Get ready for that. And Mia's advice? I guess. Focused. He's rolling on a lot of power, so wait for him to shift first. You brace yourself for a race. While in the middle of it, Mia calls you, informing you to left a big oil trail at the start. The thing is, you drive a BMW, so you aren't worried since, you know, that comes with the car. However, a little further into the race, and your car just breaks down. To this day, I have PTSD from that sound. Razor, knowing he'd lose to you, decided to rig the race. You hand over your car keys, and then cops show up. You get arrested, but are released because you don't own a car. Which is a little stupid, since you were caught street racing before. <laughs> oh man, did you pick the wrong street to run on? But, whatever. You still got some money on you, so Mia drives you to the car dealership to start all over from scratch. You pick your new ride, I chose Cobalt, and then you climb the blacklist and get your ride back. The story is very simple and frankly, some performances from actors are very silly. How is your car running? What? How is your car running? What? Razor is honestly hilarious whenever he's on screen. He just comes across as very tryhard. Another bolt on Wonder Boy looking to get smoked. Why don't we save you the grief and peel those parts right now? But I can't lie, as a kid, I thought he was the baddest motherfucker there is. Obviously, the dialogue screams the early 2000s, but I love it for that, and I wouldn't trade it for the world. The game sets up your motivation and characters incredibly well. Being cheated of a win and losing this fine work of art that forced Le Mans to add additional rules with this iconic and sweet paint job would get anyone upset and want revenge. Can you tell I love this car? I mean, who doesn't? There isn't a single video game with a more iconic car than this. The aesthetic of the game is also such a treat to look at. It's just the piss filter that a ton of early 2000s stuff had. I have seen a ton of people use a mod to remove it, but personally, I can't play the game without it. It was inspired by the movies Gone in 60 Seconds and The Fast and the Furious, and you can tell. My source for that is Reddit, so take that information with a grain of salt. But by just looking at the movies and the game, I would argue that it's accurate. Each Blacklist member also has their own thing going on alongside the montage, and while there are some who are cooler than the others, it's honestly great they put time and effort to make them feel more like characters than just obstacles. But Let's touch on the best part of the game.
Most Wanted is everything I would want from a street racing game. Open world exploration, as well as the option to cause mayhem in said world. A variety of different races like circuit, sprint, lap knockdown, speed trap, and tool boost. Fine, and drag races. Drag races are the only ones I really have an issue with, because you don't have a complete control over your car. In the drag races, you tell your car when to switch lanes, subway surfer style, to avoid other cars and cross over the finish line before your opponent. Due to how the camera system works, a lot of times you won't see the position of the civilian vehicle and crash, so it comes across as a memory minigame, where you replay it until you've memorized the position of all the cars, since this is the only type of race where vehicle spawning isn't randomized. But how's the driving when you do have control over your car? It's honestly still the best out of any other game I've played that has cars in it. The sense of speed is unmatched, and I don't know how or why, but it just feels right. Is it the most realistic? No. But is it the most fun? In my opinion, yes. I loved driving, crashing and bumping into other cars, taking shortcuts and avoiding the cops. The police pursuits in this game are a ton of fun, and hearing cops talk on the radio about you and what their next move is, is entertaining as hell. Depending on your heat level and the amount of time the pursuit lasts, it keeps getting more and more challenging, to the point where you can barely escape. To help you get the cops away from you, you can hit certain areas to make things fall and crash on their cars. My personal favorite is this giant donut. You also have a variety of cars, and customization in this game is so rich, I used to spend hours in the shop playing around with it. For my second playthrough I just made every car black and green, but because there are so many different options to choose from, each car still managed to look different and unique. So other than that one race type, everything is great. Well, almost everything. The game can, especially near the end, get very grindy. To challenge a blacklist driver you need to meet a set number of criteria. You have to win a set amount of races, complete several milestones and have a certain bounty and the criteria keep rising the more you move up the blacklist. On my first playthrough, I started treating all that as more of a chore than anything else. However, on my second playthrough, I used a mod to completely remove the need for a bounty and reduce the amount of milestones I needed to complete by half, and the game was honestly much more enjoyable. And that's what I find great about this. The game is to this day popular enough to have so many mods that can help you tune the game to your liking. Tune. Like the car. Now, Eden put the game online for the people who would want to play it, so you can just get it on pretty much any abandoned wear site for free. It's super easy to run, however, I would still recommend getting a mod to increase the resolution of the game, since it does crash sometimes if you don't. I'll leave the links for both in the description. Oh, time to wrap things up. Need for Speed Most Wanted 2005 is still the best racing game there is. Any objections? Don't wanna hear him. It has it all. In near perfect gameplay, iconic cars, intense police pursuits, vast customization, and a story. Sure, it isn't perfect, but gosh darn it, nothing in life is. After all, there's a good reason that it's still talked about to this day. So, as I wrap up this trip down the memory lane, I want to thank this game for the countless of fun hours I spent racing and crashing into taxi cars. Thank you. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing, and until next time.